Olympics is happening and it's about to end and this thing has got me thinking. A lot of people don't take into consideration the most important thing at the Olympics, the performances. Oh my goodness, I can write the whole book. Let me ask you a question. When you go to an event or an arena, what heightens your emotions? What you see, what you hear, what you feel, and maybe what you, what you, what you touch. Eh? <laughs> the organizers of the Olympics noticed that one of the most universal languages in the world is music. And so they are always giving us thrilling performances. Live performances, that's a key factor here, live. Well guys, since I am heavily involved in a live band, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts about the Olympics. <laughs> I'm going to teach you guys the music technicality. See, I'm going to make sure that you guys are all music experts before you leave this video. Now do me a favor, take a pen and a piece of paper. Let me take you back in time, 2008. We are in the heart of one of the biggest economies in the whole of Asia, China. China, oh my god, they had a thrilling opening ceremony at the Olympics. Their performance, mwah. Yes, was a little different from the ones I'm about to talk about today. The thing was that there was no key, only percussion. No melody, just rhythm. And one thing I also found very interesting was that there were no languages. Just primal noises. Okay, I'm not beating this allegation. <laughs> I, I no. Well, according to the olden times, it was believed that we used to communicate through vowel sounds. You know, a, e, e, o, u. Some believe we metamorphosize from an ape. Well, now the only times we communicate through those sounds are. Well, it's a good thing China brought it back. <laughs> Ni hao. Now let's learn something here. I hope you have a pen and paper. First of all, how are they that loud? How can I hear them from here? And even in the olden times, Asian room, you could hear the noises loud, but there were no microphones. How? This is an arena, a big stadium, probably housing more than 50,000 people at that moment. And also, look at them, look at them. You, you can see that there are no mics, right? Calm down. Now, let me tell you a secret. Huh? The thing you should know is that stadiums are not just huge, but they are a very huge contributing factor to sound. Or how we perceive sound itself. But before that, well, there's a saying, there is strength in numbers. Yes, that saying, that's a very huge contributing factor to sound. Sound is energy. Take note of that. Now, don't fear, don't fear, don't fear. Calm down, calm down, calm down. This is a simple sound wave, right? Now, every time I talk, every time you speak, this is how it visually looks like. Do you get me? The crest is the high point of the wave. The trough is the low point of the wave. The amplitude is the highest point in which the wave reaches. The wavelength is the distance between the crest or the trough. Now, I'm going to create a visual for you to see how the waves are affected when I shout or when I lower my body. When I shout or when I lower. You see how the waves are being affected? Yes, that is how the sound wave looks like. Yeah. Now there's one thing you should take note of in a sound wave, which is called the amplitude. The amplitude is always the highest form of a wave. You understand? When I shout, the highest form, yes, that is the amplitude, the highest form in which that sound wave reaches. Good. Now that we have that, look at this video again. Hmm? Yeah. Have you also observed that when a lot of people are around and they are shouting, the sound becomes automatically louder. I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to say. Now the reason for this is constructive interference. I that down. You see, sound waves are constructive. You see, when two or more are coming. <laughs> when this is one sound wave. Now, this is another sound wave. When they are on the same frequency, their sound waves combine and construct. You get it? Leading to constructive interference. Do you understand? This is a visual representation. Now, do you see? Are we getting somewhere? You see, this is you, and this is your sneaky link. I mean, if you are in the room, 
together and you're on the same frequency or sound wave. You see, you cause what we call a constructive interference. You're interfering with your neighbors. <laughs> Did you see what I did there? Yes. Now imagine there are thousands of people doing the same thing, saying the same thing. What do you get? An amplified voice without even speakers. Now you know why they call it amplitude. Amplified. Amplitude. <laughs> are you learning something? You can see that they are not even hitting the drums hard, but they are creating the noise. You can hear, you can feel the noise. Because they are all on the same wave from here. Do you understand? There's also one peculiar thing about sound energy that I like. Sound is reflective. I think you've heard that thing before, right? Yes. You see, a stadium is like a tube. It's like an enclosed space, right? So when you talk, when you shout, it goes like this. Boom, 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 boom. So when they are all together like, oh, the sound doesn't just disappear because it's not a free open space. It's an enclosed space. So it's like, oh, do you understand? The sound reverberates so it will seem longer than it actually is. That's why we call something reverb. See, this is reverb. You can see what's happening to my voice. Exactly. Watching this performance, that was the only thing that was going through my mind. I couldn't even enjoy it. I was just analyzing. China was one of the best Olympics. Woo. Now, let's fix our eyes for Europe. One of the superpowers of the world who had one of the most iconic opening ceremonies at the Olympics. Funny enough, that performance began as a joke. A single note, although was actually creative, it was not him playing it, obviously. You can see that at some point he was not going according to it. But I wanted to say something about that grand piano bass. Oh, that entry was. Oof. You see the sound waves I showed you initially, right? Just know that anything or everything that you hear, right, it has this particular kind of sound wave, if you understand. Now listen, the more the bass, the longer the wavelength. Do you understand? The more the treble, the shorter the wavelength. Now let me explain. A bass has a lower frequency and a treble has a higher frequency. And when we say frequency, the amount of vibrations or oscillations per second. Do you understand? So if I play a bass, boom, it will be like, treble will be like, see those short, short people, they like to. <laughs> hey! So you see that piano part? Exactly, exactly. You see that one is like that. Man, I really love that performance. Ah, you see that? Now, what I did right there is harmony. Now that's a story for another time. But you know, harmony is just two or more melodies that have been combined to the initial melody. Do you understand? I hope you guys are learning something. You are taking notes, huh? Now this is the whitest thing I've experienced. Wow. Go, go, England. Oh, I don't know. Glory, glory, my United. I mean, that's the only thing I know. Now let's head on to the tropics. The tropics. Brazil. Oh, I love this performance. I think this one was like the closing ceremony. Yeah, I'm sure. First of all, I want us to know that what this man is doing right here is he's utilizing what we call arpeggio. You see, a chord is when you strike all the notes as one. But an arpeggio is when you do exactly. Now look at what he's doing with this one. This is one thing that I noticed about this performance. You can see that it feels processed. A bit. Compared to how a normal stadium would sound, this one is a little polished. It sounds like an actual song, you know? But one thing about this type of music is that they utilize what we call a side chain very well. Now listen to me. Can you see a bass eh, and a drum? They conflict a lot because they are all low and low frequency. Boom! 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 You understand? So there's something that they were brought about, which is called a side chain. You understand? A side chain is like the peacemaker. Hey, if I come inside, don't come inside. If I come inside, come inside. If I come, do you understand? So basically, this one, the drum is the leader. The bass has agreed that if the drum is coming, bass go down, drum come up. You understand? So boom, boom, boom. That was perfect too. Now let's fix our eyes on Asia again. Which is Tokyo, Japan. Now 
I loved the progression. That was a, mm, perfect. I made a video explaining right how to play the piano, and it doesn't matter if you have touched a piano in your life or not. Trust me, if you watch this video that I explained here, hey, I promise you, if if you, if you don't understand anything, come for thousand dollars. I go and watch it. The video is on my other channel. Hey, I you learn a lot. I promise you. First thing I realized was addiction. I mean, you could hear the accent, right? In singing, addiction plays a very, very huge role. It's very, very important. The song we were singing there was Imagine by John Lennon. They got Angelique Joe dressing like a dickness. <laughs> Daddy Mo. Bro, I just gave out free game. Free game that a lot of people pay for. On this video, free game. See, a lot of people have been hitting me up nowadays. Upcoming producers, artists, music lovers. How oh, nice, becoming overwhelming. I'm trying to give my best, you know, give a lot of free game on this channel. But, you know, I can't just give all of it. So I came up with a solution. I created a Discord community, right? That we can be able to socialize and stuff. You get me? That you can be able to talk to me one on one. What do you want me to help you with? You can hop on a video call with me, or all those stuff. You get me? Basically, anything you need free game, music consultation, anything in a much more premium style. Aye. You see the perks, you see the benefits. Now this particular thing will be coming up very, very soon. I'm doing some finishing touches, eh? Just hold on with it, yeah? But um, um, it's it's not free, though. It's not it's not free. Ah, uh, uh, come on, man. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. But it's very, very affordable. Trust me. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop giving free game on this channel. No, 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 no. This one is much more premium. Do you understand? Anyways, looking back from 2008 to now, we have come a long way in performance. From China to London. To Brazil, to Tokyo. Then we have Paris. Georgia, by the wheel.